President Yoon Song yeol met with U.S. President Joe Biden at the NATO summit. Together, they approved the Korea Peninsula Nuclear Operation Guidelines. Now, this plan integrates U.S. nuclear capabilities with South Korea's advanced conventional forces. President Yoon also called for a complete blockade of any aiding of North Korea's military enhancement. Presidents Yoon Sung yeol and Joe Biden adopted a joint statement approving a set of nuclear operation guidelines deterring North Korea's nuclear threats. The statement came about a year after the bilateral nuclear consultative group was founded last July. It was the first time that the deployment of U.S. nuclear assets on the Korean peninsula needed to deter North Korean nuclear threats was specified for not only wartime but also peacetime. Yang Jong-sang은 한미 핵 작전 지침이 일체형 확장 억제 협력을 이행하는 굳건한 토대를 제공한다는 점을 강조하였습니다. Meanwhile, President Yoon attended the NATO summit and urged the members to respond strongly to the military cooperation between North Korea and Russia. He criticized that such cooperation between a UN Security Council member and a sanctioned country undermines the foundation of the UN system. Russia와 북한의 불법적인 군사 경제 협력을 무력화하고 차단시켜 나아가겠습니다. He also emphasized the need for close cooperation among the nations sharing the same values. President Yoon promised to help expand the defense supply network with NATO members and partner nations, as well as increase cooperation in the aviation defense industry. The president is returning home after completing the planned schedule at the two-day NATO summit.